Yo, yo, we back. Welcome back for another week. Fly Free Speaks. I think this is episode 10 or 11. One of them. Forgive me. I lose track. It's been a while. I did one like I think last week, but let's get into week. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Episode 10, 11. Uh, it's very, very, very special guest tonight. I don't want to shortchange you. Um, she is the founder and CEO of the Working Poor Bar. She is the most beautiful woman in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Some people know her as Kenzie. Some people know her as Cece. I know her as Bay. This is the beautiful mother of my children. Introduce yourself, baby. Well, I think you did a great job. So, um, I have the working for a bar. That is hopefully my new full time job. And I came on tonight to support Bay <laughs> <laughs> and to answer some of these questions, I guess, from a woman's perspective. Yeah, and we are in the same house right now, but you know, we had to make this shit look good for y'all. So that's yeah, that's another thing. We could have sat by each other, but you know, she wouldn't have been able to keep her hands off me. So, you know. Yeah. So <laughs> let's dive in straight off the top. Uh what year we meet? 2005, 2006? Six. Six. Uh, I think it was six. I'm I'm pretty sure it was six. Yeah, somewhere around there. So, yeah, uh, and believe it or not, we didn't get in a relationship until 2015. So that's just that that's the, the short version of it. But the long version is um, throughout those, I believe, 11 years in between, we were kind of friends and we never we never fucked around, for lack of a better word. Um, we you know, it was things that happen here and there, you know, opportunities and shit, but you know, it was never, uh, it was never that, but in between those 11 years, we were kind of on and off friends. You know, we got into it a couple times and fell in and out of contact. And we did that a lot. Yeah. A lot. These aren't like short term, a uh, couple of days. It'd be like a year. Yeah. Like I'm gonna tell the story about the, uh, about the radio you in this radio this was when i first got my bmw i was feeling myself this had to be like 2012 or something like that right 20 yeah it was 2012 so i had just got my car i'm feeling good and shit i'm like yo i'm gonna come i'm gonna come pick you up like what's, what's good you want to go eat you know i ain't had too much money so we could go to applebee's or something like that i think it was Texas roadhouse yeah, nah i think that was when i didn't have a car and you actually picked me up when i was on my scrub shit Wow. That was like before then. This was like, yeah, that was that predates 2012. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, we uh I think I took you to Applebee's or some shit like that. But um, I just remember we leaving. I'm listening to my radio. I'm you know, my fellas, y'all know when you and your vibe, like you don't want nobody fucking with your radio. So she takes it upon herself to start changing what i'm listening to like we ain't keep in mind we ain't even like that right now like we we on a date or whatnot but we ain't you know it ain't that like we ain't claiming each other yet type shit so i'm just you know vibing she start changing my shit i'm like yo what's what's what's, what's good with you i'm listening to that that's that's how i went right I mean, I had my reasons for touching your radio. Was it like a, a, a test or what, what do you want to call it? No, it wasn't a test. Uh, what were you listening to? It was either you or... It probably was me. It probably, I probably was listening to myself. It was either you or Tori Kelly, but like you didn't listen to nothing else. Like those were the only two car options. I was listening to myself. I'm 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 about ninety five percent sure around that, especially around that time. I was listening to myself. Well, those were the only two car options. So like, so yeah, I'm listening to myself and shit. Like you know, she touched my I'm like, yo, it's good with you. So 
who is you? Like, why we always got to listen to you? Because uh, you listen to me every day now. Like, uh, I'm just saying. But, um, yeah, so we had got into it over that shit real bad. Like, to the point where I took her motherfucking ass home. I dropped her off. We literally didn't speak for how long? Uh, about a year. That's it? Yeah. It felt like long. The rest of that year. If that was 2012, then yeah, because we were back speaking by 2013. Yeah, probably about a year. But yeah, I just remember like the, the silent shit the whole way to the crib after that. Like, don't say nothing to me. I ain't gonna say nothing to you. And we just gonna call that that. I'm gonna drop you off, and we ain't never gonna see each other again. Like that's that's what was on my mind. I don't know how you was thinking, but I guess in my mind, he wasn't doing nothing for me, no ways. Ooh. I go by myself. <laughs> <laughs> so the Applebee's like it ain't 20. that big. cool. Yeah, I man. guess somebody else take me out there. I ain't had no money like that back then, but you know, whatever. I liked you. So I mean, me liking you kind of superseded like what you had at that time to some degree. That's fair. That's fair. So you know that that ended up happening, but we reconnected. Obviously, um, now we got three kids together through the midst of all the craziness. So it it you know it is what it is. She cast my reel. You know what I mean? What's 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 that? Not cast the reel. What? Uh, nothing. But anyway, mm-hmm. but anyway, um, yeah, like I said, uh. Before I even get into it, all your bartending needs, I don't give a fuck if it's a birthday party, a private event, fucking bar mitzvah, whatever you got going on, like the working poor bar, book the working poor bar, man, best service, you know, guaranteed. And I'm not just saying that because she's my lady, but she does very, very good work and I'm proud of her, you know, so yeah. Thanks, honey. The working poor bar. Um, yeah, so I got into the little backstory of our relationship. Um, we left okay, out MySpace, huh? We left out MySpace. Oh, yeah, we met on MySpace. We met on MySpace. That's crazy. And mm-hmm. I was the one that sent the message. She was on my top eight and all that. Like, yeah, got you locked in. So not yeah. locked in. Top eight. Um, yeah, anything else you want to add? Um, no, I think that's pretty good on the backstory. MySpace now led to Facebook later on, but we were already, yeah. you know, had each other's personal numbers by then. We had each other's personal number early. Like, don't get it. Don't we had, some, we had some shit going on that we ain't really speaking on back then, but we know what we talk about. Well. <laughs> don't leave that there <laughs> that's that's a different time that's all another story yeah so we're gonna we're gonna skip past that um straight off the top um the last couple days i've been seeing this thing where females are designating where and where not to take them on first dates so i gotta get your opinion on this um i don't have the list in front of me but I know um, all fast food is on there. Cheesecake Factory is the one that's being made a big deal out of, uh, of course, to a man's house on the first night. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of shit on there that I want to get your opinion on. Okay. Um, so where where is it appropriate and where it is where is it not appropriate for for a man to take you specifically on a date for the first time? So I agree with some of those things on the list, but I disagree with a lot of that stuff that's on the list too. So Applebee's, Cheesecake Factory, those shouldn't be on the list. You go where he takes you and you enjoy the time y'all spending together. Everybody's there to get to know each other. Now, a man's house is absolutely out out of pocket like that. That should be on the list for sure. I ain't going to nobody's house. I barely want you to drive me. Like I'm, I'm quick to be like, I will meet you there, and that's for my safety. 
So that should be on the list. I'm from Georgia, so I'm kind of impartial to Waffle House. <laughs> um, it depends on the setting, right? If we meet somewhere else and we go out afterwards and we get some drinks and I'm hungry, cool. Take me to Waffle House. I'm hungry. I fucks with Waffle House. But like if we're meeting at seven o'clock, don't take me to Waffle House. So that's like so Waffle House is more like a like a like a topper. It's not like you don't lead with the Waffle House. That's not the, the primary place that you should be taking me. But let's say we did breakfast. I'm still cool with Waffle House because I like it. Okay. That makes like, sense. you don't have to take me to, uh, I don't know, like a fancy little brunch spot or nothing. Like, I folks with Waffle House. That's just me, though. Like, But remember, though, this is, we talking about like a first date, though. Like, you don't really know this man like that. I know. But oh. if you, if you say, hey, I got, I, let's say he works a certain shift, right? Mm hmm. I don't really have time to do lunch or dinner, but I would love to take you out for breakfast, you know, maybe between mine and his house, like, a, and a Waffle House is in between. Like, if he brought up Waffle House, I'm not going to let, like, oh, no, you can't take me there. <laughs> it's giving poor. <laughs> I mean, Waffle House ain't, I guess it depends on who ordering, but Waffle House ain't even cheap no more. Like, them $7.99 All-Stars is over. And Waffle House is one of them places every time you go, the fucking price is different. They write it down on a little paper. Like, bro, last time for the All-Star, my nigga, I spent nine twenty eight. You telling me it's ten fourteen? Like now for me, I guess more or less, I'm looking at how you are carrying yourself. Do you tip the waitress good? Like that that right. stuff matters to me. Like we go right. to Waffle House and the bill forty dollars and you leave three dollars. Now I'm looking at you crazy. I get it. So, I mean, it ain't it ain't really about that. I'm, like I said, some places, some things I get are off limits. Like fast food, you're not taking me to fast food. <laughs> Waffle not. House is slick fast food, though. Like, Ain't none man. of my Waffle House fast. <laughs> I don't care if you order it to go. Like, I ain't going to go fast at a Waffle House. I mean, like the quality, though. The quality of the breakfast is fast food quality, though. Oh, like, no. It ain't. No, I, McDonald's no. could never. I don't know. I think if there was a fast food of breakfast, Waffle House would be at the top of the list. Now, I don't know. I can't make them eggs at home. The eggs is different. Them they I got they the Waffle eggs is crazy. Home. But like all the other shit, though, well, they do have good toast. They the first motherfucking place I've seen with good toast. So. I'm like, so like that's the majority of the meal. What are we talking about? I mean, I feel you, but I got the list in front of me. Cheesecake Factory, that's a go. You'll go there. Yeah, I don't even like Cheesecake Factory, but I go. Applebee's. You know, I fucks with Applebee's. At least. Mm-hmm. I, I ain't even gonna Olive Garden. You you fucks with Olive Garden, so but I don't, you know, I, I will go to Olive Garden, but now that we have our other spot. I don't really like they food too much anymore. Yeah, they they but, died to me. Once we found the other one, they died to me. Like they don't even exist no more. I do love their desserts, and I can have wine and soup and salad, so I'm I'm cool there. Cool. So movies is cool. The movies is cool. You know what? The movies is cool, but I don't think that should be a place for a first date. Why not? Oh well, because you you're supposed to trying to get to know somebody and right just... like. Yeah, I don't want you touching me while we're in there because I don't fucking know you. Like, keep Ooh, your hands to yourself. <laughs> at that mean, but that's kind of the vibe you get at the movies, like holding dark. Hand, putting your hand on your leg and stuff. Like, it's in it's giving the wrong type of impression as a woman. Like, I don't I don't want to give that off, so I would prefer not to do the movies as a first date. That's fair. In my house, absolutely not. Right. Uh any fast food chain buffalo that nigga said buffalo wild wings i like buffalo wild wings yeah, they got the tvs and shit it's lit especially if it's on a sunday football I yo y'all crazy no now if you go in there and you're trying to watch tv and games and stuff while we are interacting or you know communicating i'm not i don't i don't want that either why not that might make me more relaxed 
and in my element so I could kind of open up to you the way I want to open up to you. But you're not talking to me if you're watching TV. I'm not like focused on it, but like it's there. It it gives me comfort. It's kind of like how like I like to sleep with the TV on type shit. Like it just it just makes me feel more comfortable. It puts oh, me. To sleep. We were gonna leave that at it depends, but it wouldn't be my preference if the man was like heavy into sports. Like I don't need you yelling at the TV while we're. Oh no no no! I ain't talking about like doing all that, but like just oh, nice look up. On, you know, hold on one second. Let me nah, listen. nah, 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 nah. I wouldn't do that. Like, and you know me, I'm like sports. Sports is everything to me. But even I, like, if this is a first date, I'm not about to like drag you through that yet. Like, you're gonna get there. Don't worry. But I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna drag you there. First date type shit. Like, nah, I ain't gonna do that. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of other shit. Church, it would church, the gym, Denny's, aha. Church is too much. Um. Unless, like, that's your thing. But it's another place, like, it doesn't really leave the floor open to have a conversation. And I think that conversation is probably a little too deep on the first date. Um, you know, I need to see if I if I even like you before we find out that type of stuff. Like, let, let's get through the first date. Hookah bar? Please ain't. I think a hookah bar can be okay. It just depends. Like, is a hookah bar more of a club atmosphere? More like a lounge. Like, a I mean, it's kind of the same, but it's still loud. Like, are you getting us a table outside? Not all of them. Show? Not all lounges are like. I mean, like a gro like a like a real grown and sexy lounge. Like, not with not late nights. I'm talking about like, what if it was like during the day where everybody just winding down, chilling? You know what I mean? Like, not. I've never been to a lounge. Where even during the day, the music ain't on 10. Now, if your lounge just so happens to like be in a spot where there's like an outdoor, like let's say the DJ's inside and maybe you reserved us a table outside to talk or whatever, then cool. But I'm also not keen on smoking. So like I, I don't mind doing hookah socially, but on a first date, like I don't really want you to like pass you the hookah. Chair, yeah. Like, I'm like, not, just hit this hookah. Like, we we yes, vibe. No, that ain't your That's shit not for me. <laughs> That's not your speed. No. To, all right, let's see. To the bar for drinks. Now, nah, you know, I love me a drink. Yes. But look, listen, see, see, this is where wires could get crossed at, right? Because drinking, oftentimes, you know, niggas could have ulterior motives. Like, you, I could be taking you to the bar to get you a little lit and lose your lose your focus a little bit. You know, that is true. I'm not denying that. But you said for me. So for me, I know when I'm going to stop drinking. If I, I'm texting someone where I'm at, the time I got there, I'm usually messaging somebody throughout the time I'm there. And I probably got plans after I leave you. Not me specifically. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? On like a first date, like no, 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 I got you. I was just I was being funny. I know. But I went out, I had a couple of drinks. Now I'm about to go, you know, my girls is around the corner at this other spot. I'm about to meet them. We done had our little date. You done pregame me. Well, yeah. That's pretty much that's pretty much it for the for the places. Ice cream date, uh bowling. I think ice cream can be cute. I'm gonna take I was like in in addition to though, like I don't want to that just be it though. That can't be the spot. Like, yeah, I got this amazing ice cream place. I was just been dying to take you, me, but like you know, I may be a little judgy. Somewhere that requires a long drive. What the fuck does that even mean? Like, I don't even know what that means. That sounds like you trying to yeah, like do something to this. Bit. Is a drive at this point, so. You know, when somebody asks me out on a date, I already know I'm committing at least an hour to the drive. Them niggas said wing stop in Chipotle. Like when you put it like that, it sounds crazy though. I'm gonna take you to Wing Stop. Like ain't nobody taking nobody to Wing Stop. I don't want to be taken to Wing Stop or Chipotle, even though I like Chipotle. Uh it, the 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 setting, the ambiance in there is just not there. Like that to me feels more like fast food. Like you don't have a server, you gotta wait in line, you gotta seat yourself like that all right so it's what about it's more what, like a restaurant what about something like mini golf i only think that's on the list oh, I, I think that's cute 
That's cool. Yep, you can speak while you're in there. There's usually not a whole bunch of loud music. You know, let's say somebody's probably good at it. So somebody can help the other person or y'all both, you know, suck together, which is cute. No, let's just be honest for a second. Like, I think you're a little bit more down to earth than the average female of 2023. And if you okay. take one of these bitches to uh, mini golf. I don't know how that's going to play out in 2023. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I don't I don't. Well, I think we skipped a very important thing. I don't know how many, like, women we have in 2023. Mm. But the niggas all say go deeper. <laughs> what, what you mean by that? Like, like, we have a lot of people in the streets. We got a lot of hoes. We have a lot of females. But we don't have a lot of women. Same with, like, when you categorize men. Like, we have a lot of males. But do we have a lot of men? Mm. So, you know, you, you narrow that pool down. I think when you deal with a, a woman who's intentional, and that's a whole nother thing is, you know, when you're dating intentionally versus when you're just going out on a date. Or just a, a space filler. Yeah, like that's totally different. Like if I'm just going out with somebody to occupy my time because I got free time, my requirements may differ than when I'm dating intentionally. And I may move different when I'm thinking of intentional and in my woman space versus when I'm out here partying and I'm really looking for that and I got a roster. Like, I mean, I'm actually probably going to be more picky if I got a, a gang of niggas that can take me out. And this roster thing, so it's, it's okay for just, – just so for clarity, right? Okay. It's okay for women who are – just dating to have a roster like that's fine yeah like what does this roster do though like what it uh, you know I, i'm just curious <laughs> okay so the <laughs> roster everybody has a different purpose so i can't tell you like oh it's just for this or that like so women, let's get let's just let's just cut to the chase how many of this roster is is a, is a woman fucking for me, you know, back in my day, I only had one. Like, I, I'm a one person type of person. So that's just me, though. Like, I may be dating you and you've been around for two years. So I'm just sleeping with you. But, like, this dude take me out. This one take me shopping. This one cover my bills. And these niggas don't expect nothing. Like, they just, it's just... It's cool. Oh, to just... They don't expect anything. It's um, verbiage can be important, like how you word things, how you carry yourself when you're around, how much time you're giving somebody. Because that's another uh, thing. When you start giving your time to like one specific person consistently, then the expectation increases. So whether y'all said y'all official or not. Mm -hmm. They are now expecting more from you. But Tell if I got it. five dudes on my roster, there's no way I'm giving out that much time to each individual person. So everybody's always wanting more time and therefore they do more for you. You know, that just reminded me like when we were in our little talking stage, right? <sighs> yeah. Everything was so good until what are we? Ah. Uh, <laughs> now we done entered into a fucking territory where like you want me to pay a bill or pay a couple bills or like what can I finance like it's just I ain't really you know I signed up for the fucking part like in my mind and, and this is not like this is 98% of men I'm being and that might be being generous like 98% of niggas like we ain't trying to you know, I don't even know how to put this shit. Like I was just in a situation where like, I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to chip in that way. Like I wasn't ready yet, but you're a good woman. So I'm not about to let a good woman slip just because I got a hang up about, you know, uh, paying something or 
whatever the case may be like it's just okay i'm gonna have to accept this because if i don't then i'm gonna lose a good woman and the majority of us men to be honest don't know how to pick no fucking good woman so when you have one you gotta you gotta lock in so that was the 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 conundrum that you put me in asking me what are we like fuck i guess we're a couple now (laughs) shit you know you forced my hand i was a good woman I always knew you were a good woman. So it wasn't a matter of me finding out you were a good woman in that, in that time period. It was just yeah. more so like, do I want to, cause let's just be honest. We, every since we known each other, we were always of the mindset, both of us collectively. Like we were like, yo, I don't know if I could be with this person because we don't, we're not two people that bend like compromise and all that shit was kind of like foreign to both of us. Like it's kind of like my way or like you could get the fuck out. Like you like that. And I, I'm damn sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I yeah. never wanted to fuck up what we had friendship wise. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I me neither. I always felt like if we got together, it's like, damn, like, We're I could lose, yeah. Like I could lose a friend at the same time. Like, damn, like, Cause she ain't gonna obey, like, and that's 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 big on the on the. <laughs> I need to use a different word. She ain't gonna obey, like, let's not, like, let's not do that. You you feel the same way, like, this nigga ain't gonna do what I want, what I want him to do, like, then he yeah. gotta go. That's just how that's how you run, and I knew that, like, that's, I knew that's how you were, and you knew that's how I was. So, like, I felt like it'd be, it'd be a challenge to even take on that relationship. So that was my biggest thing. Well, I think we're in the same space with that. I I definitely felt the same way. Like if we start dating, this is one of my few um, male friends that like I like to keep around long term. So I know if we go to that level, this shit ain't about to last. No, we can't even agree on the goddamn radio. Right. So, yeah, I I just it just I didn't think it was going to happen like that. Like, you know. But, you know, we started spending more time together and, you know, learning each other more. Compromise, though, like even now, like we're we argue in silence. (laughs) Yeah, we don't really get into like like if if we don't if we're not on the same page for whatever reason, like we do our shit in silence. And I think me and you both have an understanding of our mouths can be vicious. And if you say something, you may not be able to, you can't take it back and you can't unhear it. So I think we just kind of got to a place where, you know what, I'm going to shut the fuck up. He going to shut the fuck up and we going to give it air and give it space. And even when we make up, we, we still don't hardly say nothing like we. Right. Well, I mean, we, we, but we still, we still find ways to like. Let the other person know. Right. We still find ways like look, I I mean what I said, like, but you know, we as long as you understand that, we good, like moving forward. So it's just like one of the like you said, like a silent communication, like, but it works. Like whatever the fuck we did, it works. So, you know, three kids later and Yeah, almost a decade down. So Yeah. So um, I think a lot of things we we are intentional though with like I will have to give us props there I think we both move kind of intentionally to respect the other person's space yeah yeah I yeah, yeah I, I agree with that I agree with that for sure um yeah it's like funny we was talking about earlier because everybody know I like to gamble so I don't even like I don't call it gamble I call it betting Gambling sounds too reckless. That shit sound reckless. So I, I'm a sports better. I bet on sports. That's what I do. You know, I don't gamble. But um, we were talking about earlier. Uh, shout out to Alex. He had sent me a video one day saying uh, it was a dude watching the, the Celtics game. and His girl was in the background. She was ready to have sex and shit. She was like, I don't give a fuck about none of that. I'm ready to fuck. Jason Tatum fucked me already. <laughs> so he sent me that, but I had saw it today. So I, you know, I wanted to rekindle that conversation. Um, <laughs> she was saying, this is for everybody listening. She was saying to me earlier, like, it's just crazy how 
something like that can affect our mood for the rest of the day. Like, and my my stance is like, what do you mean? Like, I just this nigga just lost me ten thousand dollars. Like, how can my mind refocus back on whatever you was talking about prior to that? Now that might sound crazy to women. I can see the face you making, <laughs> but as a man, like that niggas put in a parlay that like you hitting like boom let's just say it's a five leg you don't hit four of them motherfuckers all you need is this one more result to happen for you to get your bread and this affects you as well because you my woman like i give you half of it or all of i don't give a fuck i just want the money in our possession right so to me what do you mean how can this affect the rest of my day like i'm fucked up like I know we had plans prior to that. Like we had plans for later on in the day, but it's like, damn, like that's going to be on my mind. Not saying we ain't going to do whatever we was going to do, but you got to understand, like my mind is a little altered at this point. Like I might have a problem, you know, refocusing on what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Like, so I'm trying to, I just want to get your perspective on that. Like, what do you mean? How can I be altered by that? First of all, what you do, what you're betting has nothing to do with me being in this house. Okay. Okay. So I'm not the one who lost you, whatever you lost. I'm not the one who placed the bet. So it almost feels like you're taking it out on me and I didn't do anything to deserve that. But I make it abundantly clear why I'm fucking mad. Like, I don't say, oh, you did this. Like, that'd be different. I'm like, man, fuck off me. Like, but, but I'm still, I'm still like having the backlash of it. Like, that's still, it's still falling on me, even though it didn't have nothing to do with me. But you would spend the money if I won, though, right? But that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> you're asking <laughs> if you're uh, mad. I just wanted to throw that in. <laughs> you lost. I would spend the money when you send it to me. But, you said if you're mad, like why do we feel that type of way? That's why it's not we didn't do anything. So you're right. you're taking out your frustration and your misfortune on me, and I haven't done anything but support you throughout the day, throughout whatever. Like I've been here. I didn't, but I'm not mad at you, and you know that. Like, so but I don't understand how it's an issue. Like it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Like you look 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 like when I law remember that one bet I, I bring this shit up. It was a fuck it. Like, I swear. This bet, somebody sent him 84000 <laughs> Oh, my God. Like, I put up. I see, this is why I don't fuck with parlays. All y'all parlay niggas, like, I don't, I, I can't. Like, I can't. So, 13-leg parlay. Long story short. 13-leg parlay. I hit 12 out of 13. I lose one fucking fight out of 13, right? 84000 I might have put, like, 10 or $15 on that ticket. Like, I lost that, and I, I was sick for a week. Like the rest of that night was just I was inconsolable. Like she was, it's okay, babe. It's okay, babe. It's all right, babe. <laughs> get over it, babe. It's okay, babe. Get over it. Like, bro, you can't get over a nigga costing you eighty four thousand dollars. Like that's that's come on. Like we would have went on vacation. We would have did a lot of shit with that money. Probably bought a whip. Like who knows? Like we could have did what we wanted. Like not saying that that's life changing money, but like that's a good come up for a day where you only put ten dollars into it like so of course that's gonna make me feel a certain type of way at least the rest give me the rest of the day now i kind of took it hard for like a week but give me the day like no um i don't think we had any plans that day and i don't think that i like was on you about it that day it was like okay the days went by and and now it's we're going into a week that's a problem well mm -hmm, you know okay so on a regular day if you're doing like if what you're doing is going to alter your mood that much maybe you shouldn't be doing it but you know i i i'm inviting that space into your that's like i mean you know with gambling there's very little chance of winning especially on a parlay or a casino or whatever like you already know you're going into it with little to no chance of benefiting so it's, I, it's, I hear you yourself up to be in a pissy mood and i gotta deal with the backlash of it i hear you i hear you but 
84,000 is 84,000, babe. Like, that's well, I understand, but you didn't get it, you didn't have it. I, I know I did have it. This yeah. nigga just fucked it up. See, that's what y'all don't understand. Look, you, what, you would have had it, we wouldn't be here. That's what y'all understand. And, and it was really my fault why I lost that one. Like, by the way, I didn't check my I fucking ticket. I meant to pick the other nigga. So that's a whole nother story. So it really was my fault, but I had to take it out on somebody. And I ain't saying that somebody was you. I, but it, but it was. I didn't. I took it out on you for real. Be for real. Yeah, nigga, you was angry. Not at you. But you were angry. So it was nothing I could do for you, with you. Like your mood was was done. I mean, but that's you know, all right. I I'll I'll take that. What you sipping on? A strawberry margarita with a little champagne topper. The working poor bar. <laughs> tap in, tap in, please. The working poor bar. Um, yeah, so uh it was another uh I'm gliding, I'm gliding now. There was another thing I saw today. I sent it to you, I sent the video to you. I said we'd talk about this. All right. <laughs> You out with your man, right? <laughs> okay. A group of niggas disrespects you in front of your man. What are you expecting for your man to do in that scenario? And when I say a group of niggas, I mean like five or more niggas. Like he, your, your man don't have no weapon on him at this point. Like it's just you, him, and these five niggas. They might say some foul shit that you feel like your man's supposed to react to, right? What are you expecting in that moment? And what should happen? Okay, so unrealistically, but I'm expecting you to defend me. Defend in what way? Because um... make no fucking mistake about it. I'm going to, at a minimum, say something. Now, if, look, I want to throw, throw this caveat in here. Like, I, I have supreme confidence in my fucking hands. Like, my hands are like that, right? But I'm not fucking stupid enough <laughs> to fly off the handle on five niggas and just start swinging. And I think that's what y'all be expecting. But me personally, right? I'm gonna at least say something, which which will probably lead into the fight. My mouth probably gonna get my ass whooped. Like, I'm gonna at least say something. They gonna say some shit. I'm gonna say some shit back. Okay. Which, which will probably lead to me getting into a fight with five niggas, and I don't know. Now, they, they ain't gonna end too well. But that's that's just me. Like, I'm not gonna just not say nothing. I probably wouldn't be able to sleep or look you know, look myself in the mirror. Like, it's just one of them things. I say something, but. No, nah, I'm not jumping out there and getting my ass whooped for. No, I'm not doing that. Like, wh what are we doing? Okay, so at a minimum, I I expect you to say something, right? Right. That's fair. And if you say something and it leads to like a, a my bad or whatever, and we move forward, I'm cool with that. But if it escalates, like, you better escalate with it. You can so. <laughs> I escalate with it. I don't give a fuck how much you escalate. If it's five grown men, that's I get it. But just like I was talking about earlier, like I know it's unrealistic to expect like a single man to fight five dudes. I know it is, but so it goes for whatever reason, like that's how women are programmed. We are programmed to be protected, and we expect that when we're out with a man, he is to protect. So it, this goes into how many niggas are Wait. you? What's the minimum amount of niggas that you will be accepting of for your man to not not have to just like fly off the handle and punch somebody? Like, what's the what's the minimum? I don't know. I how many I, niggas you want me to beat in one sitting? Like, I like. I, if okay. there's this amount of niggas and you and you like, ain't swinging, then you... Many, right? Because I feel like you're gonna die, and I don't want you to die. But you. no, I don't. I didn't say that. 
Dang. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I think like, like a, uh, maybe like seven. No, I mean like, what's the mint? Like, if I don't swing on these niggas, I'm pussy. Like, how many, how many niggas? Two, three. If it's two, let's just say two. If it's two niggas, I better swing. Yeah. I better swing. For sure. For t- on two niggas, like we ain't taking size into account or like none of none of that matter. If it's two six five niggas, right? Two six five, two hundred plus niggas. I- I'm swinging. Hmm. Tough crowd. I mean, okay, but this kind of segues into what we were talking about earlier when the um. That guy was on the TV, the the boxer. Frazier. Who's that? Hey, Frazier. Oh, My no. question is his Oh, you're talking about uh, Francis and Ganu. Francis. So that that kind of is where um I think that le- that traces back to um some of my thought process that I didn't realize before is I think it's a man's responsibility to protect his woman right so it absolutely is if that's your responsibility you should be efficient and trained in that area so for a man because i know all men aren't the same size and all that good stuff but for a man to have a woman and we're using me and you as an example because i'm i'm on the smaller side Mm -hmm. five two five three on a tall day and I, I ain't really about to be able to help you or nothing. It ain't like I'm six foot. In the and US. I wouldn't I wouldn't even want my woman helping me in no physical altercation. Like, get out the way and let me just do what I do. And we could get the fuck up out of here. Like, I get I'm, that. But but it goes back to like, I'm exp- I have an expectation of you and, you know, like the stature of the woman you're dealing with. Right. So if you're not comfortable defending me then maybe you should go get trained into a comfortable area like if you're a man and you feel like if three niggas gonna walk up tomorrow and try my woman or try me i can't defend her my my kids or whatever maybe you should go take some some class (laughs) maybe you should get your hands trained so that you can do your job properly i mean we we don't have we hey i'm they work very well I'm just but, saying though, like, but we were looking at him, right? Mm-hmm. And you were easily saying, like, oh, like he in a room with three dudes, like he yeah, he yeah, Francis and Ghana was wise, but that's like a rare case. He's washing three or four niggas by himself. Like that's but we talking about a man that took the time to go and get himself trained. Now his purpose behind all that, that is there that you go. Him. That's but, what I'm saying. I definitely think that men should have that forethought when they are pursuing a woman and pursuing a family to be able to defend that family. So whether that be getting your hands trained, getting your uh, certification or whatever, you know, gun training you want to do, like whatever that may be, if shit were to hit the fan, can you defend your family effectively against a multitude of people? Now that multitude of people I think, you know, physically, I think five is is around the number. Like, we should be able to, you may not win, but, you know, I don't think you should be getting, like, pulverized. By five niggas? (laughs) You just think it's all, like, big-ass, you know, men, but I'm not going to lie. I'm looking at you crazy. I'm gonna talk about you, whether you. I know you. I we we got a clear understanding of what we are and who who each other is. Like you ain't got to tell me that. I know you clowning. Like is no. I can't come back to the house without hearing. But you know it. You let this nigga. Yeah, I, I like. But I'm I'm me though. Like I, yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm I'm good. But so basically, what you're saying is. Every nigga that has a woman should be trained in some kind of combat. Like, what are we saying? Every nigga that, that has a woman or a family. Yeah, I think that's that's a part. If if you're if you know your role as a man is to protect and provide, then you should go do what you have to do to protect and provide. But not all niggas are like combative and. 
have I'm that type of. They are, but that's that's a part of the role. You like don't you have to be combative. That combative just means usually that you're starting something or are looking for the fight. Like you get a nigga like a nerd ass nigga. Like he ain't he ain't cut like that. Like some niggas just don't have that physical acumen. Like they don't have that shit. So to expect that out of every single man on the planet is crazy. Like, I mean, if you're not cut like that, maybe you could find a woman that's okay with defending herself. Maybe you need to get you a burly bitch. Okay, so you that's, get somebody, a woman that's in the UFC that can protect you. I don't know. Well, so that's where that see that's but that's the solution though, right? Like everybody can't. Who, that's 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 crazy to to expect every nigga to be. But most women want to like rest in their femininity. Which means that a man has to like sit in that masculinity. So I can't rest in my femininity if I have to be masculine. Like if I if I find myself doing man shit, I'm not gonna have that respect for you as a man. It just that and that's respectable. Like I don't I'm not I won't argue that. I won't argue that at all. Like that's that's fair. That that goes into the category. So if you got a female that's in the UFC, right? And she's the man, and and you over here, and you nerd or whatever. There's a good chance you're doing what she's telling you to do, because she wears the pants. Mm, well, slap it down to the ground one time. If you slapping her, then you can go slap a man. Like no, at that not. point, you need to go get training then, <laughs> because you have stepped out of your role. Mm, well. You can't play both sides. Some would argue you can, you know. I mean, that's a slippery slope. That's all I can say with that one. That is a whole nother uh, conversation, but that tends to be a slippery slope. Yeah, I agree. So, you know, I just wanted to get your insight on that because I know how you are. Like, the nigga got to be Superman 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Like, I signed up for Superman. I expect what I signed up for. So you getting you getting your money's worth? I don't know yet. I ain't seen you in the fight, so I ain't had to. But you but you know what it hey. I hope I know. No, no, you know. I think you got confirmation from somebody in your family, like yeah, he 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 Oh uh, yeah. hmm He told me I was safe. Oh yeah. I I, word. Niggas know. That's true. So um yeah, um, and I train our son. Like, stop it. Like, stop. Um, what the fuck was I about to say? Um, yeah, you looking good tonight anyway, though. Like, what we having for dinner and shit, like crab legs, baked potato, mac and cheese. So we're gonna have to wrap this up soon. <laughs> I, I wanted to do a vegetable, but you're not gonna eat it. It's squash. Oh no, I ain't eating it. I know. Some dinner and dessert. I mean, I already started drinking, so you know, baby number four might be on the night. <laughs> We're good, so we can be finished. Absolutely. But um, yeah, it was it was nice having you, baby. Like it was it was a different experience. Glad to see you on camera looking all good. Mm. Well, you know, whatever I can do. Absolutely. So once again, y'all, the working poor bar. Parties, private events, birthdays, weddings. We do it all. We do it all. I work for my lady when she need my help. Yeah, if I say he helps. I, I do help. You know, I try to be like she said, support is everything, especially when you in relationships and you share accounts and all that stuff but the service is a one not just saying that because she's my woman she i I watched her build it from scratch and for she did a phenomenal job so i you know i always applaud her on that and i'm proud of her every day so it means a lot so um yeah this was fly free speaks man special guest my baby um Y'all keep it locked in with me. I'm going to have more stuff. Of course, I got the basketball stream tomorrow with Ben and One. We're going to go through all that. Yeah, y'all keep it locked in with me. Like, share, subscribe, all the above. Babe, anything Bye. else you want to 
Yeah, subscribe. Yes. Be sure, subscribe. You truly are supporting. It don't cost nothing to click that subscription button. Subscribe. Likes are cool. Comments are better. Subscribing is the best. There you have it. I can't say no better than that. Um, yeah. Anything else you want to say, babe, before we get out of here? No, I can't wait to come back. This is cute. I like it. Cute in what way? Like for us, or well, like my, my shit is cute. I like your, you your little, <laughs> yeah, your, I don't, yeah, your little show. This ain't your little show, right? No, I meant in the way of like us doing something different together. Yeah, this is different. You know, your little spice every now and again. This is cute. I like it. Okay, so yeah, you'll be back. We get something juicy to talk about. I'll bring you know you you here. So, <laughs> nice. but anyway, fly free speaks, man. You know this another week. We signing it off. <laughs>